would like to discuss different healing techniques which we can apply on when working with qi. And the first technique is basically the lightest or the simplest technique to use. Um, we're in a way using the qi in our hand as kind of a magnetic field to stimulate the qi in our client. So this is a very safe method, it's also a relatively easy method. Um, so to work with this method, um, we need to make the qi flow in our hands as strong as possible, so that we create as strong a field as possible. It can be compared to working with an electromagnet. So the stronger the current is in the, uh, in the magnet, the stronger the magnetic field. So also the stronger the life force current is in our hands, the stronger the field which we will generate. And just like a magnet, it will pull the energy or push the energy along with it. These are the two techniques we can use, pushing energy and pulling energy. So first of all, let's start with energizing our hands. The easiest way to do this is to Focus all your chi down into your hara, so that all the chi in your body is stored in that one place. Then you open the chakras of your hand, so all seven of them in both hands. And when these chakras open up, then the energy in the hand can also manifest more easily into an energetic field. So next what we do, after we've placed all the energy in our hara, we're going to transfer the energy of our hara to our hands. So I place both hands on the hara and really allow them to become one with this reservoir of life force below your navel. Sometimes helps also to breathe into your hands to allow the energy really to flow into your hands, out of your belly, into the hand. So that life force is no longer concentrated on one spot, just the hara, but also in the hand. This is an exercise which can also be done very easily using martial arts techniques, where you try to hit also and by when you're striking, you also focus all your life force in your fists. So, now when our hands are charged, we should be able to feel them from quite a distance away. So, to have like a working level of energy, you should be able to feel your hands at about shoulder width. So if you hold one hand up and you bring the other hand towards it and try to feel, oh, here I'm starting to notice a pressure. So this is the sensitive hand, which you just use to feel. The other hand you slowly bring in until you feel like, okay, now I can feel this hand with this hand. And if it's about shoulder width, and you have enough energy to really give an effective treatment. If you find that energy is not enough, then continue your breathing to really stimulate the life force and gather it all in your hara. So do the yin yang breathing again to build up the life force until it is strong enough so you can really feel it at shoulder width. So once you've done that, can start the actual treatment and there as I said there are different techniques pushing pulling and in general role I prefer pulling over pushing uh, this is not always the best technique but um, it is the more gentle technique so what you do is you try to make contact with the life force which you should be able to feel at about uh, two inches from the body gives the best yeah, contact with the life force. And then you 
as you move your hand, you should feel the life force in the arm moving along with it. So it's kind of like a wave, a bubble of life force which forms under the hand and then this bubble is moved through the meridians to the hand and you can move it back again. So it feels a little bit as if there's a bulge under my skin which is being dragged along by the hand. And this technique is very useful for creating more level distribution of the energy along the meridians. So energy tends to pile up in one place and to be too little somewhere else, so it becomes a little bit like a jagged mountain landscape and with this you're in a way smoothing the energy so that the energy level all along the meridian becomes more equalized. Um, what you can also do is to try to change the speed of the meridians. So speed is related to yin and yang. And by moving your hand more quickly, like this, you're in a way moving the energy because you get rapid a succession of waves and the energy starts to move faster, more quickly. So by moving in this way, grab the energy, pull it along, you're making it more yang. You're changing the balance of the meridian into a young energy. Conversely, you can also move more slowly. So move like this. To slow down the energy. And make the energy more yin. Also the person underneath should feel like a level of being energized, excited, and this is more a feeling of relaxation if you move slowly. This is creating a yin flow. If there is some point in the meridian where you feel that there's an energy stuck there, you can also bring life force to that point so that that uh, yeah, trauma will reactivate, will uh, start to move again, will have enough strength to break into consciousness, into memories, into dreams. So for instance, if I have a spot here at my wrist, I can just take energies and bring waves and waves of energy there and thereby create a build-up of life force in exactly the spot where the blockage is. And the blockage itself will start to move, often the place itself will start to tingle or get hot. So these are normal sensations if you're doing this type of stimulation. So the other way, instead of indeed moving the energy to the blockage so it can transform itself, is in a way pushing the blockage. So in this case you're not so much moving the free energy, but you're in a way trying to jolt the blockage loose. So it will dissolve and by actually moving through the meridian it can get processed. So instead of moving your hand in a way flat over the meridian, which creates a pulling effect. If you turn your hand like this, then you're creating a pushing effect. So this is pulling, pushing. So now with the same blockage, what I can do is I place my hand on one hand of the blockage and to move blockages you need to be a lot closer to the body. So generally within an inch. Then you move your hand and 
you drag part of the blockage along with you. And you're in a way smearing it out over the rest of the meridian. And often in the client this gives a feeling of um, yeah, a little bit uncomfortable. And it depends if this method will work well. It depends very much on the strength and the health of the rest of the meridian. If the meridian is in a very bad state, then in a way by moving the blockage, you're blocking the rest of the meridian as well. So you're just creating a larger blockage. If the rest of the meridian is healthy and strong, it will process the energy and the blockage will dissolve, will disappear. So what is a good technique is like you in a way spread out the blocked energy so it moves into the meridian instead of like being one solid lump it is not now a little group of pebbles and when these pebbles they are more or less squished and moved around them the whole meridian you will feel will also slow down because of all the pebbles in the stream but now we can stimulate it again because now for me the meridian feels like it's kind of like a little bit blocked everywhere but the energy is seeping through but if you then start stimulating it again no longer there is a big rock blocking it but just little pebbles and the pebbles can be moved by the stream and dissolve in the chi if you just get the flow going again by moving it along. But all the flow normalizes. So, it's always important at the end of the treatment that you in a way give the energy which your hands might have picked up from your client back to your client so before ending the treatment i tend to put my hands on my client for a bit so that their energy can go back into their system but i can also get any energies which might inadvertently have gone into the client back into my own hands so once this energy has been like separated again it's purely my energy usually put it back in the hara because then it can reintegrate more easily into the rest of the body than when it is hanging around in my hands still so this is how to work with the more gentle most magnetic stimulation of the chi